um, yeah, you're at the start of my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for tuning in. And if you're watching back, hello future. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to jump in and talk about, oh, feeling like a failure. Oh man, it's heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, I have definitely been down the rabbit hole of mental illness and depression and I am not there now, thank goodness. If you are, please seek the appropriate help because when you come out the other side, life is truly amazing. Um, I think life in general is, is quite a big roller coaster, and this is something that I guess I wasn't really... Um, I don't think anyone is really prepared for the roller coaster that is life. I don't think you can ever be prepared for that. Um, but yeah, they definitely like don't teach it in school or you don't learn it as a kid. You definitely have no idea what life is going to be like. So I think it's really important that we live a life that we are happy about within ourselves. And yeah, feeling like a failure often only happens when we are comparing ourselves to other people or going by other people's standards. And I think when we are living life in our way and to our own standards, you actually don't get that feeling of feeling like a failure um, unless you're, you're talking to someone else and comparing yourself to someone else. So the reason that this came about is because last week I spent one week with my parents and they are farmers, they are a little bit old school, but not super, super old school. They, um, like, yeah, believe in hard work and um, you only become successful when you work really hard. And also my whole family are, like, off the land, are, are farmers, and, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Um, and they often don't understand my lifestyle choices and when I am around my family or comparing myself even to my younger sister, I feel like I am a failure because I am comparing myself to something that I don't even want and it's really easy to fall back in that trap and I know that there's a lot of people in the same position because there's a heap of us like especially soul driven people or like spiritual people or people who are on the path to finding their true selves we often <laughs> are really different from where we came from and like who we grew up with and what we grew up with we often like branch quite a way away from that because we yeah are on this own on, on our own journey of exploration and really discovering who we are as people so yeah <laughs> i had a really in-depth chat with my mom and i was like oh i just feel like a failure like because i'm not you know buying a house or i'm not um i don't have like a nine to five job i don't have like a career job I don't like I'm not subscribing to that normal lifestyle and I think that when I'm comparing myself to other people my age or even younger than me who have like a house like a good car like a steady job and two kids and two dogs and <laughs> are living like the white picket fence life or the suburban life I'm like oh my god I literally have nothing I have none of that but what's really important is that I don't actually want any of that. And I think it's really easy to fall in the trap of, oh, I have to do this. I have to do it in this order. I have to have all of these things like that are material things and not really look at what you actually want as a person. So for me, I feel happiest when I'm traveling, um, when I'm working for myself and also when I'm doing life in my own way. So often that means not having a routine, or like a really strict routine, working only the hours that I want to, really listening to my body um, and my mind and my soul and what it needs and then actually trying to honour that. Obviously, I'm not perfect, so <laughs> it doesn't always work that way. But I'm so much happier when I'm doing life that way than when I'm trying to like, you know, do all of the things that I'm supposed to do in life. So I guess the point of this video is to share a little bit about my struggles with feeling like a failure, but also to inspire you guys to live life on your own terms and really just tune into what you want out of life and how you want to live your life and 
really honor that, like really chase after that because life is short and we're only here for such a small amount of time. And if you spend it doing what you think you should do or what other people think that you should do, you're actually just going to exist. And that's not a way to live. You want to live your life, not exist in life. Like that's, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah. So I really want to like urge you guys to look at your life and look at what when you're the most happiest and when what it is that you love doing and then actually go and do that and like for me I think that means buying a van traveling around Australia until the pandemic's over and then yeah just living life on my own terms um yeah I obviously have to convince my husband <laughs> which um yeah that will take a little bit of time and it's gonna take a bit of time to work to that but I think that's that's the way forward for me and yeah, I really want this YouTube channel to inspire you guys and I really want um, you all to be able to look at your own life and really live it on your own terms. And yeah, find your passion, live out your dreams and go after life. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it really helps me build my channel. Um, as I said, six subscribers in, so I really need your help. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.